we're going to talk about Anthony Davis really quick in the Lakers. He uh, turned down the extension, the max, four-year max that they could offer, $146 million. He turned that down yesterday. And uh, I was going to make a video prior to yesterday's game, but I decided to wait to see how that went. AD has been playing great for the Lakers. I'm a huge Laker fan. Everybody that knows knows I bleed the purple and gold like all the rest of you diehard Lakers fans out there. Um, so seeing Anthony Davis take that fall last night was pretty scary. He's missed two games this season. He's he's going to miss, I think, at least these next two. And he's questionable for Friday night versus Dallas. He's got a gluteus contusion. It bruises his butt cheeks, I guess. <laughs> but he fell pretty hard and it looked pretty painful. And uh, luckily, we were beating up on the Knicks handily. We didn't really need him. Regarding him turning down that offer, the speculation is that he's going to wait till he enters free agency so he can maximize his value. We know how that works. If he waits till free agency, Lakers could offer him, I think, five years with extra millions on top of it, and other teams could throw their names into the hat and throw their offers on the table and see if he wants to bite. Now, realistically, I know we kind of sold the farm to get him, and I know that it's kind of like a win now type of scenario. LeBron, I think, has one more year on his contract with an option for a fourth year, if I'm not mistaken. But the point is, LeBron, as we know, even though he's still playing at a very high MVP level, he is 35, and this is his 17th season in the league, and he is carrying a lot of the weight for the Lakers. He is the driving force. So without him, they will have no success. And he needs Anthony Davis to even contend for a title. So my my opinion on what's going on with them so far is that there's no guarantee Anthony Davis is going to stay, even if the Lakers go on and continue to be the best team in the league and eventually win the NBA title this season. Uh, I think even if the Lakers do win the title, Davis will still possibly explore other options. There's no guarantee that he wants to stay and build the dynasty over the next four or five seasons. With uh, with LeBron being on the decline, he will still be a masterful, masterful all-time great player, but obviously his, his limitations will start to show and will need more support. He won't be uh, as, as dominant of a force in the next couple of seasons if he decides to stay and finish his career with the Lakers. So I think Anthony Davis staying with the Lakers, I know we all want that longevity. We want that guarantee uh, that we're going to be in contention for a title over the next few seasons. We want a dynasty. And as we see dynasties, they come and they go pretty quickly, even with the most dominant team. Sometimes they only win one title uh, in that run. So Anthony Davis not signing doesn't worry me. I know he's all in this season and I know that, the Lakers' title hopes this season are this season, the 2020 season, are very high. And, you know, we just got to beat the Clippers when it matters, beat the Bucks when it matters. But no guarantees. Even if the Lakers, even if we win a title, Davis still might want to explore his options. It's just the way of the league now. It's um, the players are running shit. They're realizing their value and just enjoy it while it lasts, you know. Uh, let's let's be happy that we got a team that's fun to watch and that's putting up great numbers on defense, offense. I mean, I don't have all the stats in front of me, but the Lakers are doing it, and it's it's fun to be a fan right now after six straight seasons of missing the playoffs. So I'm no expert. That's my opinion. Hope you guys have a great day. You know.